Welcome back. Smith! Smith! I'm bored. I need something to do. What do you got for me? Ooh. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you about these swords. Yes? You say you made these? These are Tamagahane steel. You don't just make Tamagahane steel blades. You don't, but I do. I apprenticed for 20 years, and each sword takes me around six months. You spent two decades learning this? That was a quick study. How did you find a master sword maker willing to take you on, given your, uh, you know... My non-traditional skin color? Yeah. I learned from my grandfather. He was a traditionalist, but was able to overlook my background, given the complexity of our family history. Do tell. My grandfather was the last surviving member of the Masamuni clan. Is that so? And let me guess, your uncle was Kaiser Soze? Believe what you want. I am who I am. Ah, I've heard that one before. I think it was uh, Yahweh. Or was it Popeye? I always get those two mixed up. Your disbelief is reasonable. My family was a living ghost story. They forged the Nobitsura Kage. If you believe that sort of thing. Believe it. Brother, I own it. Now, who is telling tall tales? Oh, I got it right here. But it's not what it used to be. No? I used it to kill a god. After I did that, it began shrinking. See? Fascinating. Does it have the powers from the stories? It did. Little hard to wield now, though. Unless you're Mighty Mouse. What if I told you I could fix it? I'd say that's the third most unbelievable thing you've said during this conversation. Let's see... Oh, dear. I don't have the correct scrolls here. They're in my grandfather's library. If you retrieve them, I will see what I can do. Oh, don't worry. Fetch is my favorite game. I'm not telling you how to live your life. If you're in the neighborhood, check it out. Or don't. Whatever you say. Alright, let's talk about the Nobitsura. The Nobitsura Kage. It's also been referred to as the Shadow Eater, or the more literal translation, Even Shadows Burn, which is pretty goddamn metal. The blade is anathema to anything from the Shadow Realm, and is the only object in existence capable of killing an ancient. To even touch it is fatal to a shadow being. However, to humans, it's just a particularly old sharp piece of metal. It was forged by Hoji possessing the body of Itsuse no Mikoro, who later used the name Masamune, Smith's ancestor, who was in the Shadow Realm on a work exchange program to help them out with their chaos problems. He kept the sword as both payment and insurance against the Shadow Realm. However, after returning home, he decided to split the sword into three parts and scatter them across the world. In Shadow Warrior 2013, Enra finds himself in particular need of the blade, and so makes a deal with Zilla, who then dispatches Lo Wang to acquire it. In the process of acquiring all three parts, Wang cuts off Zilla's arm and, with the newly reassembled blade, hops into the Shadow Realm and mercs Enra. Inexplicably, afterwards the sword slowly shrank until it reached its present state. But I guess having a weapon capable of killing gods at the beginning of the game would be a bit of a narrative hurdle. Anyway, uh, well that's not a sword, but it's an interesting weapon, so might as well do it. Any way to get that uh, Kage back with us, that would be uh, worth doing. Anyway, I'm using mostly the same weapons as last time, but I'm going to bring the Twin Dao along. Uh, the Twin Dao have an interesting aspect in that they get a natural 30% bonus to critical damage, which I've boosted with three gems that also boast critical damage, so I get 241% criticals. So they're not going to hit very often, but when they do hit hard, they hit like a complete beast. Alright, let's find us some scrolls. And, again, I forgot to press E. It's very annoying, you have to hold it down, you can't just tap it, and I held it a little bit too late. So, I will splice that in momentarily. So when it comes to swords, you suddenly find passion and integrity. Typical man. Hey, you wouldn't understand. This sword is special. Is that what your mom called you? My mother died before my fourth birth. I oh, I'm... Sorry, I didn't know. Wait, we found something Kamiko doesn't know? Somebody call the papers! Oh yeah, there's no such thing anymore. 
Hey, that's okay. I'll just tell this demon up here. I'm sure he's interested. Okay, okay. Point taken. So how well do you know Smith? He's my sensei. He taught me everything I know about Kung Fu. Is he really from a family of sword makers? I never had reason to doubt it. Except for the fact that he's... Tall? No, he's... Uh... Intelligent? Black. He's black. Now there's a news flash. But that doesn't make sense. He can't be from one of the sword-making families if he's... His mother was Japanese, his father was an American GI. He was raised by his grandfather. And what was his story? Never met the guy, but I think we're about to poke around his place. Oh, I like poking. One of those hellhounds has some kind of damage aura that's slowing me down. Let's see what I can do about it. You gonna gonna come over here, guy, or do I gotta? Okay. Fine. All right. I really likes that roof. Shit! 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 Okay, I'm lucky I made it out of that one. Die already? Oh, the uh, residual electricity damage finished him off. Nice. Okay. Only one left. We can handle that. Collect all the shinies. Chest. And let's uh head towards our little objective marker. Well, after I get this chest. Yeah, most of the game's objectives boil down to go to place, interact with the object. Apparently I gotta go up this way. I think this is almost exactly the same path as last mission. Yeah. This game does like to reuse assets, and god damn it, this thing's fucking resistant. Just gotta hit it a little bit harder. Okay. Being vital. Ooh, hang on. You just dropped another thing. Ooh. Primal bone blades. I will use those in the next mission, so I won't sit insert a little weapon video here. Those are pretty good. Okay, you're gonna see the revolver get a lot of use in this mission. It just feels so good. The sound when it connects is just so satisfying. Come on. There we go. Uh, before I leave, I'm going to top up my ammo supply. The purple shrines, as I'm sure I've mentioned, are uh, ammo shrines, and they completely fill up all your ammo. I think they uh, regenerate after a certain amount of time, so you can go back to the same one after like 10 minutes or so and restock again. I'm sure I've used the same statue several times in a mission, but I'm not exactly sure what triggers them to resupply. Anyway, now gotta go find a key. Uh, I don't really like it when they pad the missions out like this. I'm pretty sure that despite the randomized aspects of the missions, this particular part is always the same. I have killed these enemies several times. What? Too many trees. Oh, these Toros are tough. Okay. We got multiple inbound, so... Oh, that was a waste of a rocket. That was okay use of a rocket, but... Unless you're getting at least 200 damage per, you're not using them too well. There we go, that's not bad. Fucking plants. I gotta be more aware of my environment. Man, these dudes do have a lot of health. Oh, shotgun also. Yes! That was. God, it feels good. Yeah, fuck off, snakes. I think I got both of them there. Are you right in the face. Right. How many we got left here? Well, like six ish? You'll see a couple of them sort of teleport back towards wherever, wherever they're tethered. This is a pretty manageable amount. Yeah, that guy just disappeared. Goodbye. 
I'm not sure if the electric stuff just works better on snakes, but it does seem to rip them to pieces. Got a little damage on him before he warped back. Yeah. He was taking that uh, residual shock damage. As I get better and better electrical upgrades, the enemies will be, have greater and greater chances to be stunned by it. Alright, let's get this twin dow is getting a little workout. No critical hits yet. Where's Hiding in the trees, huh? Okay. Alright, little chest, big chest. Kind of a boring looking key. At least it wasn't another one of those giant demon wooden dicks that we collected in the first mission. Money, money form of ice. And it's just a common upgrade. Almost everything you can pick up in the game is tiered by color. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, you know. White is just very basic, normal. Blue is what you're going to find most, most often. After that, there's... Uh, Orange? Gotcha. These guys are completely optional, but why not kill things? I like fighting hammerheads. They're one of the least frustrating enemies to fight. Spectres are a great deal more annoying than how jumpy they are. I just shredded all of them with that. I love it when you uh, deal a little bit of damage just by switching to the melee weapons. It always feels great. Okay, just... How were you not hit by that? You could not have been more in there. Quickly remedied. Alright, we gotta keep going back this way. I just looped around. And I'm getting really familiar with those vines. Okay, we can finally continue to the gates. Let's take the high road. This game is at its best when you're just jumping and dashing along rooftops and high areas. Moving around, it really does just feel fantastic. My bow is my favorite first strike weapon. That's what I always like to open with. Provided what I'm engaging with is far away. Yeah, one thing about claws is there's always a chance that they're going to warp into a talon. And this one is superior, so he's got a lot of health. And he does a lot of damage, as we're about to see. Yeah, that was like 60 damage in a single hit. I'm very lucky I survived that. Okay, I'll just kite him a little bit. You can get him right in that gaping maw. He does. God damn it. He does a, a lot of critical damage. It's pretty obvious weak point. God damn it, Spectre's over here too. Okay. Out of my way. Alright, and. Some good chunks. Man, this uh, this revolver I, again. Love it so much. I'm doing more damage with this thing than I am with a rocket launcher. Oh, the lucky dash there saved me from the edge. Doesn't always kill enemies, but does enough damage to all the enemies around them that it's just very, very worth it. Back and back and back. As long as you have a safe place you can pull off to and heal a little bit, the game's pretty easy. Even when you're against its tougher enemies. It's just when your movement options are limited, like I don't know where they came from. Like when you're on a cliff and an enemy's in front and behind you, especially ones that deal damage auras, then you die occasionally. I'm not gonna let that lie though. Again, death isn't so bad. You're gonna die in this game, just so. If you wanna recoup your losses, all you gotta do is play for another five minutes. Oh, no, I've been doing 
doing pretty well. We only need another three skill points to get uh, that final Serene Mind upgrade. Just... That little grenade kick they do seems like it would be easy to dodge. That hits such a wide area and it fires like three grenades at once that it's kind of hard to avoid. Oh well. I cannot wait till I have more chi. Okay, might as well use this health shrine. Okay, we need to go to the other side of this gully. Pretty sure I got him right in the wrist. Nice. Since that wasn't a one-hit kill, these guys now know I'm here. Okay, go. Alright. You know the drill, jump, dodge, try and avoid grenades. I'm looking forward to having an expanded arsenal, though. And these gun weapons are all great, but I'm relying pretty heavily on, like, just two or three. We'll have more to choose from pretty soon. I'm running away. Now there's more here. That should have been a kill. I should have waited until he was closer. Regular hammerheads are not dangerous. Everything else, though. Pretty sure that was a critical hit. I just wrecked most of the. I was doing so well! Alright. Well, let's go back. Yeah, right. Like, I'm not gonna try and kill them. <laughs> nice, the explosion procked in a little barrel next to it. Now he's toxic. That one's naturally toxic. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between enemies that you've affected with a status and ones that just are that element. Now, I made a pretty large tactical blunder here. Um, the elements in this game are not really a rock, paper, scissors variety. It's more like opposites are just effective against one another. So fire is weak to ice, and ice is weak to fire. Electricity is weak to toxic, and toxic is weak to electricity. So if I had half a brain there, I would have been using the rippers on those guys. Looks like I finally grew one. See? See how much damage they can do? There we go. I've already died to you like what? Fuck! <sighs> yeah, I could be doing better. This time I'm opting to play it a little bit safer. It's gonna hit him from a distance. Reach out and touch him. Yeah, you can't kick this far. Take your fucking explosive hacky sack somewhere else. Okay, I think... I think that's about enough. Let's get into melee range. There we go, finally. That should not have taken me as many attempts as it did. I swear, I'm actually kind of good at video games sometimes. Oh well. I got nothing to prove. This game's fun anyway. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Let's go hunting. So. Nice. When the bow works, it works so good. Hey, how you doing? Anyone else around here? What? Oh, hey. Oh, superior. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That was actually an extremely lucky critical. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm real excited about bows, too. Okay. I actually... The map's telling me to go that way, but my objective is right in front of me. The pathing is not always super accurate. Um, oh, there you are. Oh, boy. That is a Toro with 
A lot of elemental attributes. Well, just fire, I guess. But... At least he's not resistant. Someone's been through here before us. Okay. You know what? I've been using this gun a lot. Let's uh, give something else a shot. Well, after I kill this guy. Nice thing about the shotgun is, even though it doesn't like always deal a ton of damage to one enemy, it al will almost always knock something down. It's a good way to buy yourself a little bit of breathing room. Uh, one enemy is not really worth it, but big enemies is where the genocider actually works pretty well. It still has the ammo conservation attributes to it, so I might fire more than 10 rounds. And the faster, the longer it fires, the faster it fires. Well, in this particular instance, it's not too bad. If it's a big target that you can hit consistently, then it's a, it's an okay weapon. It's just very, very situational. I'm not a huge fan. I believe that's from uh, Hobo with a Shotgun. Wow, they really did a number on this place. Looter's gonna loot. At least we got this diary. Consolation prize for the old man. Guess you're not getting your sword back after all. Oh, I'm getting it back. But the instructions... Were stolen. All I have to do is steal them back. How can we find who took them? Well, we can start by tracking down whoever put these tags up. Huh. Smart. Yeah, I try to keep my intelligent moments to once per year. Get ready for a tsunami of stupid. There's that quote again. Also, that's where the name of the uh, Hauer comes from, Rutger Hauer. All right, so I did a bit more grinding after this. Uh, found a mini boss hump to the side of the map, the spider one. I'll just mop up these cute little ones. Yeah, th that gun, it slices, it dices, it does area of effect damage. It gets critical, it's just the best. But the shotgun is really the, my favorite weapon for small enemies, but still, let's give everything a little bit of a workout. Alright, Frozen Widow. Uh, you might be able to guess what kind of attribute it's going to get me, so let's, uh, get my little fire weapon here. It's not proccing that much fire damage. The annoying thing about it is it's vital, so while it puts those shields up, it's healing itself back to full health. I want to try and take these little ones down as quickly as possible. How are you allowed to spawn superior enemies? Come on, they're minions. They're not that hard. Just burrow? Okay. Spiders don't... Well, some spiders burrow. I guess these are the ones that do. Kind of annoying how the revolver does a little bit of charge before it needs to reload. It'd be nice if they tweak that. No, he's right, not at full health. Let's just take her down. <laughs> My fire damage is not doing uh, a whole lot of extra damage there, but it's something. Got the job done. Right, that was Frozen Widow, so that gives us. Wait. Sub-Zero. If we have any weapons that deal ice, that'll help them deal more damage. Anyway, let's go turn this quest in. Didn't find the scrolls, but... Their swords are so shiny. I do love the, the changing weather and times of day. So pretty. Well, good news and bad news. I'm afraid there's not much left of your grandfather's library. It is unfortunate. That's it? You lose a trove of priceless, irreplaceable documents, and it's unfortunate? Who can say what is good luck and what is bad? I try to remain unattached to any single outcome. Wow. I bet you're fun in Vegas. Anyway, there was a particular piece of graffiti all over the place. I think it might be connected to the looters. I will let my students do some digging. I thought you weren't attached to any one outcome. My fist will be attached to your face in a moment if you continue being impertinent. Understood. Let me know if you find any leads, sir. All right.
Alright, we earned a Devolt for that. And I think we'll be doing that quest next time. So here's the Devolt. It is a power tool. I don't like it that much. The only interesting thing about it is that when you shoot a dude, it makes him look like a fucking porcupine. Which is... <laughs> which is funny as shit. But, I mean, the rate of fire, it's just like a SMG with kind of slower bullets. I put on a shatter aspect so I can fire like two bullets at once, which makes them get real spiky. But it's, I don't know, it's fun but not amazing. Anyway, so we're going to continue along this little quest line in next time, so I will see you guys then. But before, let's see, we finally got those 10 points we needed. This is going to make the rest of the game a lot easier. Oh, it's going to be good. All right. I think that will about wrap it up, so I will see you guys next time.